Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Township Committee meeting of October 9th, 2018. Ms. Bork, please call the roll. Committeeman Zalcor. Here. Committeeman Lapani. Here. Committeeman Sirachi. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Here. Mayor McCauley. Here. Administrator Ferreira. Here. Attorney Willard. Here. Please join me in a salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be advised that in accordance with Section 5 of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975, that notice of this meeting was made on by the posting by the bulletin board at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex and notifying the officially designated newspapers that this meeting would take place at Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex at 7.30 p.m. on October 9, 2018. First this evening, we have an approval of minutes. Approval of the September 11th, 2018 regular session minutes. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any comments in the days? Any from the floor? Okay. Roll call, please. Commander Delcourt. Yes. Commander Lapani. Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Yes. Mayor McCauley. Yes. Thank you. Approval of minutes of September 25th, 2018 regular session minutes. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Okay. Roll call, please. Commandment Delcor? Yes. Commandment Lapani? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Abstain. Moving on to reports from committee liaisons and receipt of reports, petitions, and communications. <coughs> and first this evening is Committeeman Delcor. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, just uh, quickly, I know we're going to talk about it a little later during the proclamation, but I just wanted to thank all the people that came out for uh, the Red Ribbon event at the football game last Friday. Um, we had a good turnout, as always, and it's a great opportunity for us to go out and promote uh, the excellent work that the Municipal Alliance does here in town, but also uh, making sure that the drug-free environment that we're, we're so um, diligently trying to promote here in town uh, is reinforced, especially at those events where we have all of our uh, all of our high school students. So I'd like to thank everyone for coming out, and in particular, uh, Municipal Alliance for organizing that. Uh, from the Department of Public Works, um, we no longer have any uh, coupons available for the October 27th cleanup day, uh, and that will be the last day we'll conclude our program for 2018. Uh, please keep an eye on the Public Works link related to 2019 opportunities for, uh, for cleanup days. And the 2018 LEAF program is already underway. It'll, uh, I'm sorry, it'll begin uh, shortly the first week of November. Please visit the, uh, the website in the upcoming weeks for pickup schedule for your particular neighborhood. Uh, we do try to do uh, at least one pass, uh, usually two, through each of the, uh, each of the neighborhoods. But uh, we will get your schedule out there so you can make sure that you're uh, prepared for the trucks coming through. Social Services will be sponsoring a driver safety course on Tuesday, November the 13th. That will be in the senior activity room here in the municipal building. Um, cost for AARP members is $15, non-members is $20, and is an eight-hour course uh, that will run, uh, again, in the uh, senior activity room here in town. From the Recreation Department, uh, we have our Children's Halloween Party that's scheduled for Thursday, October the 25th. That will run from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. And that will be held at Noor's Farm on South Branch Road. Children will be able to wear their costumes uh, while enjoying the amenities that are provided there, such as the hayride through the farm, a visit to the pumpkin patch, as well as uh, the, the bale maze uh, that the children can walk through. Uh, we would. Um, we do uh, request that you sign up through the Recreation Department so that we do have a, a guest count of how many people will be attending that afternoon and so that uh, we can allow NORS to plan accordingly. In addition, uh, a recent town favorite is the Halloween event. Um, that will be October the 27th at AVM Park. Um, if you have a dog, want to dress him up or dress him or her up and come on out, uh, there are uh, 
there are lots of vendors in town that do the uh, do the pet programs that that'll be there as well to provide some uh, some gifts and goodies for your pet so uh, by all means come on out and uh, enjoy that event October the 27th AVM Park uh, that'll, details will be in the e-news but I believe that starts around 9 a.m. is that correct 8 30 is registration sir. there we go uh, and recreation for in-town basketball leagues offered for grades 4 through 12 are currently holding registration uh, with league maxes uh, with the max capacities uh, getting close games played on Saturday mornings for the fourth to eighth grade while the high school leagues will be played on Monday evenings. The season is scheduled to begin in December, so if you want to sign up, please make sure you get to the website and sign up for those uh, basketball leagues. From the health department, uh, emergency preparedness, um, please make sure your families are currently vaccinated. As a follow-up to last, the last meeting's health information card discussion that we had, uh, make sure your family has up-to-date vaccinations and that a copy of the vaccination records are stapled to your uh, medical records form our information cards uh, also the Hillsborough Health Department is still offering a limited number of free radon test kits uh, to Hillsborough Township residents the kits the kits include a radon test canister instructions on how to set up the test and an envelope to mail the test kit results um, back to the certified laboratory and then the results will get mailed directly back to the participating homeowners the kits are offered on a first come first serve basis and only one kit will be given per household so if you are in need uh, please uh, visit the health department uh, or you can contact Michael Carr in the health department is the lead here he's at 369-5652 and uh, interested residents can stop by the health department which is open uh, Monday through Friday from 9 to 4. That's all for me Mayor thank you very much. Thank you. Committeeman Lapani. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> this past uh, week, a few weekends ago, I had an uh, opportunity to, hand, to uh, attend at the Hillsborough Fire Company Number no. 3, the annual cancer call-out, which is a fundraiser uh, to raise awareness for cancer for uh, one of our uh, cops in uh, the state of New Jersey. It was a beautiful day, well attended, and look out for that in the future. <coughs> the police are also uh, asking for tomorrow, Wednesday, October 10th, is put on the brakes on Fatalities Day. Its goal is to heighten con con consciousness, excuse me, about what people can do and what official steps they can take to reduce transportation fatalities and accidents on American highways, roads, and streets by calling attention to reducing fatalities on one specific day. We'll be having a proclamation later this, uh, today to address that also. Uh, so essentially just a data to maybe take it a little slower and, and see what kind of difference that makes instead of rush into that appointment or leave a little early. Maybe it might be a good idea. Uh, from the OEM, uh, we'd like to express a, a sincere thank you to Duke Farms for hosting the Missing Child Search, which you may have seen, and Rescue Drill that we held last month. This drill is a real-time result and of collaborative efforts between the Hillsborough Township Police Department, Hillsborough Township Office of Emergency Management, Hillsborough Township Volunteer Fire Departments, Hillsborough Township CERT, RWJ EMS, Somerset County Prosecutor's Office Dive Team, Somerset County Search and Rescue. This training exercise was the first of its kind held within the township, and obviously you can all understand why this is an important drill to take uh, place for uh, in case we happen to lose a, a, young, a lost uh, child in the woods or something in Hillsborough. Uh, next, uh, there's a reminder from the Municipal Alliance. Just a reminder that next Wednesday, October 17th, in the Hillsborough Millstone Municipal Alliance will host a Meet the Alliance Night on Wednesday, October 17th, again at 740, 7 to 7.45 here in the courtroom. This event is to acquaint our residents with the many programs and initiatives that the Alliance supports. Come out and learn more about the education and prevent, prevention measures here within the community. And then we have a brief uh, reminder again from building department. Um, if you're a contractor and have applied for a permit application within the building department, you are uh, you are notified when the application has been approved and pending payment. Payment has to be made in order for the permit to become active. If the permit gets voided due to non-payment, you will have to resubmit a new payment uh, permit application. Excuse me. When taking out a building permit, please remember the permit will remain open until all final inspections have been passed. 
do, do not let open, unfiled, or unpaid permits hold you up in the plan on selling your home and or business. Uh, also, we have some news from our engineering department, um, which uh, you probably be good, happy to hear. The engineering department strives to save road paving dollars for the township. The engineering department recently applied for a 2019 New Jersey Department of Transportation local aid grant. Most grants awarded to the township are for complete streets, which are roadways, which mean all, which all means of transportation, transportation such as cars, bikes, and pedestrians can access. The township engineering department has obtained grants for the township most recent years, uh, which reduced the cost to overall to the taxpayers in New Jersey and in Hillsborough to specific. Uh, this year, the engineering department submitted to the NJDOT for a section of Willow Road between Amel Road and Valinor Road as phase one. The balance of Willow Road will be additional phases in future years. By breaking up the project into phases maximizes the amount of funding because the NJDOT will, not, will only pay for up, up to approximately $500,000 in a single phase. Phase one was estimated at approximately $543,195. The awarded, if awarded, the actual road paving will not take place until fall of 2019 and or spring of 2020, since the NJDOT awards are not granted till summer of 2019. But in essence, uh, that road project would cost the taxpayers roughly $43,000. That's why we break it up into phases. Uh, the plans are sp and specifications must be prepared, and the projects must be public bidded by the township. That's all, Mayor. Thank you. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, from our tax office, uh, and I apologize, but the final tax bills have been mailed for 2017 to 2018. For those property owners who were eligible for uh, fourth quarter, uh, the fourth quarter reflects the additional homestead uh, property tax rebate or benefit. If you have not received your tax bill, please contact our finance office and they'll be happy to send you a copy. Uh, our, from our clerk's office, uh, just some election roundup information. Important dates to remember, October 16th is the deadline to register to vote, and October 30th is the deadline to apply for a mail-in ballot by mail for this general election. November 5th by 3 p.m. is the deadline for an in-person mail-in ballot um, which for this general election, and of course, November 6th is election day. And from our EDBC uh, and Hillsborough Business Association, uh, the tickets do remain on sale for the next HBA Business Social on Tuesday, October 16th at the brand new Camp DeWitt Conference Center from 6 to 9 p.m. The event will feature comedy entertainment, a top headliner uh, from the Borgata Casino, John Gemini Lombardi. Additionally, 21st century librarian uh, Catherine, Catherine sorry, DeBerry will be taking talking about how a business Community can access over 85,000 worth of business resources. The price for admission is at $15.50. It includes food uh, provided by Cater Affair. A uh, cash bar will also be available. You can go to hillsboroughbusiness.org to purchase tickets. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. A few things for me this evening. I just wanted to thank Steve and Mary Terso for the invitation to participate in their Meatball Challenge fundraiser for multiple sclerosis. Um, it actually came about, they were here for a proclamation, and I, they heard me say the Girl Scouts and I had a conversation that night, and my favorite food were meatballs. And I quickly got an invitation shortly thereafter to attend their uh, fundraiser. It was my honor to be there to support them, as uh, MS is an unpredictable, often disabling disease of the central nervous system uh, that disrupts the flow of information within the brain and between the brain and the body. They raised over $12,000 that day just for MS itself. Um, they're local here in town, and uh, we support everything that we can. And see if anybody you know has this uh, terrible disease, please reach out to the township committee, or at least um, we can give the information if you, if you need it within our town. But it was fun. It was a good fundraiser, and I enjoyed all the meatballs. They were delicious. Last week, we were finally able to do our senior Olympics at a couple rain dates, but we finally uh, were able to succeed in doing that. It was a great day for them. It's a lot of fun to watch. They're very competitive. We had 10 games, 72 participants, and uh, four assisted living facilities donated things to the event, which was extremely nice. Um, Foothill Acres had lunch and t-shirts in the football throw game. Avalon uh, sent over bottled water for the participants. 
um, All-American assortment of chips and, and other snacks for the participants from their facility to send over for them. And as Brookdale had assorted cookies and um, other snacks for the participants as well. So thank you to the sponsorship and congratulations to all of the winners. It's a fun day. We also celebrate the 10th anniversary of our senior center here at the Township Building. We want to say thank you to all of our active seniors that come and enjoy this, this facility. It is there for you. If you are not aware of it, please contact <coughs> us as well. Uh, all seniors are welcome to attend the facility, and we have a lot of good, fun events that they, uh, we do there. So happy 10-year anniversary. I think Mayor Ferrara at the time, now our business administrator, was the one who at the time um, saw this through, and uh, it's been very successful since. So thank you. A few grand openings this week. Moe's opened. I'm sure you're all familiar with Moe's. It's on 206 down by Mountain View Plaza, Mountain View Road. Um, very successful grand opening. It was a lot of fun. And Bentley's, who has been in town for many years, but they did um, relocate and they wanted to have a ribbon cutting to let them know that we did not close the doors in Bentley's Jewelers, but he simply moved his location over by ShopRite. So we had a little mini grand opening uh, for Bentley's over there too. And real quickly, I did stop by the car wash. There was a car wash on my way back from business opening as I saw the kids out there with their signs going crazy trying to pull people in. It was the choir, Hills Hillsborough High School choir, and they worked really hard, did a great job. So I went through and I got my car really, really clean. It was spotless, of course, and then it rained. But um, it, was, it was good, though. It was, uh, it was a good fundraiser for them. I heard they did really well, and they were really busy when I left. So I just wanted to do, give a shout out for them. If you see the car washes in town, it's all fundraisers for school. So please try and stop him. NJDOT will be holding an information meeting on October 5th at 6 p.m. here at the municipal building. Uh, for Excuse the me, Mayor. It's October 15th. Oh, I'm sorry. What did I say? 19th, sorry. October 15th, correction, at 6 p.m. here in the municipal building. Uh, it's Route 2019 Valley Road to Brown Avenue. It's a project of one mile section to improve Route 206. It will include the widening of the roadway, eliminating certain turn movements, constructing a concrete center median, as well as jug handles. So if you would like to see more information or if you have any questions, you can attend this meeting. Don't miss, I think why I walked into the courtroom tonight, the premiere of Hillsborough, The Good Life was on playing for you. Don't miss the premiere episode of season four. It's fe featuring Duke Farms, Hillsborough Restaurant Week, Summer Activities, Independence Day Celebration, the Hillsborough Music Festival, Hillsborough Rot Rotary Fair, and more. It's a really fun, fun one to watch. So you can see that uh, worldwide on YouTube, Comcast Channel 29 in Hillsborough, and on the TV as you enter the library. It's usually playing out there as well. As always, you can stay connected here at the Township with all events and more via our Friday e-newsletter. If you're not a participant of our e-newsletter, you can sign up by email and get all the things that we send out every week. Uh, and Twitter and TV29 and Hillsborough YouTube channel showcase our meetings and Hillsborough The Good Life episodes. Swift Reach 911s for traffic and emergency notifications. And that's it for me this evening. So we're going to move on to proclamations, which I'm sure why most of you were here tonight. And I think the town council will join me down at the front, and we will call up our proclamation declaring October as National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I see the ladies in the audience who come up. October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is an annual campaign to increase awareness of this disease, encourage early detection, and support research to find a cure. While we have seen an increase in mammography rates and a decline in deaths, there is still more to be done. Breast cancer remains the second leading cause of cancer deaths among women, and both men and women should be aware that age, genetics, and family history are factors that can contribute to the risk of developing this disease. The awareness campaign is encouraging individuals to help reduce the risk of breast cancer through regular self-exams, clinical breast exams, and mammograms, which are vital since treatments are most effective when breast cancer is detected early. The National Cancer Institute estimates in the United States more than 266,120 female 
and 2550 male new cases of breast cancer will be diagnosed this year. Kathleen Serioli, a two-time cancer survivor, along with Joanne Liskovitz, co-founders of Dance for the Cure, a nonprofit organization, have helped local families impacted by breast cancer with donations totaling over 550,000 since its founding in 1999. Dance for the Cure is a nonprofit organization committed to the prevention and the cure of best breast cancer and providing financial assistance to local women impacted by breast cancer. The Township Committee declares October 2018 as National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We urge all women and their families to increase their knowledge about breast cancer and join us to celebrate successes and memorialize lost battles. So thank you for being here and thank you for what you do. And I know I'm sure you want to say something. I just want to say thank you as always to Hillsborough Township. They're such great supporters of us. Um, you see our pink bows and pink ribbons all around town. Um, the police department does a wonderful fundraiser for us and they've just been so supportive of us every year and we thank you. We're honored for this proclamation. Thank you. Safe and sound Somerset. Everyone come up? Anyone who would like to? For Safe and Sound Somerset, they are holding a, a candlelight vigil here this evening, too, which kind of coincides with the meeting, but right after this, it's across the hallway. So if anybody would like to participate or, or join in, please feel free to do so. Safe and Sound Somerset is the county's only nonprofit organization exclusively dedicated to serving those whose lives have been impacted by domestic abuse. Safe and Sound Somerset services include emergency shelter, 24-hour call and text crisis hotline, an emergency safe house, transitional housing, legal advocacy, individual and group counseling for adults and children, financial literacy, empowerment services, and volunteer domestic violence response teams. They now offer prolonged exposure therapy and trauma-focused cognitive behavior therapy to address post-traumatic stress disorder of adult and child survivors recovering from trauma resulting from their experience with domestic abuse. Safe and Sound Somerset further provides community education programs to both professional and community groups informing the public about domestic abuse and the services available to those whose lives have been impacted. The organization has been serving people affected by domestic violence for over 40 years. All programs are free of charge, confidential, and offered in multiple locations throughout the country, county. The Hillsborough Township Committee commends the efforts of Safe and Sound Somerset in aiding victims of domestic violence and helping improve the quality of life for the people in our community. Sincerely, this is such a special thing to have. It's, it's not something that's talked about enough. It's a very private, situation when things like this happen and that's what they are here here for for all of you so please share this information with your friends if you think someone's going through something traumatic in this light and safe and sound somerset's located right here in hillsborough so thank you i just want to thank the mayor and the town council very much um, your support over the years has been tremendous um, Safe and Sound Somerset, the lead domestic violence agency, one in three women, one in five men will be impacted by domestic violence in their lives. So we are grateful for the support that the town, not just the council and the mayor, but the town itself has provided us over the years. Um, and it's been a great partnership. Thank you.
And again, they're holding a vigil this evening across the hallway if anybody wants to participate. <laughs> Red Ribbon, Municipal Alliance. New Jersey has the sixth highest rate of fatal youth drug overdoses in the country. 15% of New Jersey teens admit to drinking alcohol for the first time before age 13, compared to 19% of teens nationally. 39% of teens ages 12 through 17 in New Jersey admitted to smoking marijuana at least once daily. The availability of relatively inexpensive and highly pure heroin in New Jersey has contributed to an increased number of drug-related deaths. It is imperative that visible, unified prevention education efforts by community members may be launched to reduce the demand for drugs. The National Family Partnership for Drug-Free Youth, the District Life Skills Committee, and the Hillsborough Muni Municipal Alliance sponsors the 2018 National Red Ribbon Campaign, Life is Your Journey, Travel Drug-Free. Business, government, law enforcement, schools, religious institutions, Service organizations, youths, physicians, senior citizens, military, sports teams, and individuals will demonstrate their commitment to drug-free healthy lifestyles by wearing and displaying red ribbons during the week of this long campaign. The Hillsborough Township Committee supports Red Ribbon Week, October 23rd through the 31st, and encourages the citizens of Hillsborough Township to, to participate in drug prevention activities, making a visible statement that we strongly are committed here to a drug-free community. We further encourage all citizens to pledge, life is your journey, travel drug free. A very important message, and the Municipal Alliance is here tonight, if they want to say a few words. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you to all the Township Council, Township Committee members, um, as always, for your support. Um, you know, Red Ribbon Week, when we look at those statistics, those statistics are alarming. Our work is not done. Um, Red Ribbon Week is one week out of the year, but it's really, we do year-long prevention initiatives in the school district, in the community, for our parents. Our law enforcement partners are always with us. Um, the Municipal Alliance is a, a volunteer organization. If anybody wants to get involved, please come out to our event next week, hear more about it. Visit the website, boroughaware.org, for more information. We welcome anybody at any time to get involved in prevention initiatives. So thank you, as always, for all of your support. Uh, we, we really appreciate it, and thanks. Thanks for this proclamation.
The proclamation for Put Breaks on Fatalities Day, October 10th, 2018, has been declared Put the Breaks on Fatalities Day. Traffic crashes in 2016 caused 37,461 fatalities. Those crashes caused over 2 million injuries and an average of 102 people died that day. That is one fatality every 14 minutes. In 2016, 48, is it 2016 or 2018? Is that statistics from? 2016, you okay. Right. All right, I want to make sure I had that right. Okay. 48% uh, of passenger vehicle occupants killed in traffic crashes were unrestrained. Distracted driving is a dangerous epidemic on America's roadways. In 2016, there were 3,450 people killed and an estimated 391,000 injured in motor vehicle crashes involving distracted drivers. Alcohol-related crashes accounted for 28% of all traffic fatalities, and speeding was a contributor factor in 27% of all fatal crashes. In 2016, motorcyclists accounted for 14% of all the fatalities, with 41% known not wearing a helmet. The use of safer driving behaviors, such as not talking or texting or text messaging on cell phones, the use of seatbelts and helmets for motorcyclists, not drinking and driving, and obeying traffic laws would dramatically reduce the number of traffic-related injuries and deaths. The Hillsborough Township Committee proclaims October 10th, 2018, as Put the Brakes on Fatalities Day, and call upon everyone to help save lives by spreading these important messages throughout our community, specifically on this day, as well as, as, well as every day of the year. And our Chief of Police and some of the officers are here tonight to support this. Uh, we wanted to see if you wanted to say a few words. Sure, I would. From time to time, I get emails from residents who are disgruntled and unhappy that they received a ticket for distracted driving, speeding, or some other motor vehicle um, violation. And I can understand their frustration. Obviously, no one wants to get stopped by the police and get a ticket. However, I want to put out, and they, one of the things they always say is, don't you have anything better to do? There's crime going on. And one thing I'd like to point out over my 20, almost 25-year career that I have here is, the number of people that we have had killed in motor vehicle collisions far, far exceeds the number of people that we have that were uh, victims of homicides and also the number of people injured in crashes far exceeds the number of people that were injured in felonious or criminal assaults. And the same thing could be said for property damage. The, the amount of property damage that we suffer from motor vehicle crashes in the town far exceeds um, what we experience from criminal mischief. So. Um, obviously, uh, what happens on the roads it impacts a lot of people in this town and throughout the state, and this is why this is so important. And um, sometimes it's lost uh, by people who um, get tickets, and they think that, um, that there's better things we can be doing, where in fact traffic safety far impacts more people than, um, than criminal activities throughout this community. It's scary statistics, and I know from Every chance I get, a few years ago in 2013, I was a victim of a head-on collision on Route 206 uh, with severe injuries at the time. Thank God it wasn't worse, um, but it was simply due to the fact to a distracted driver on their phone and not paying attention on the road. So I can tell you that it is not fun. It takes a lot of time away um, to go through physical therapy and get through everything that you have to do through losing your vehicle, um, from everything that impacts your life to working, uh, being able to do physical activities, et cetera. So it is extremely important that we do try to make everybody aware of being on the road and how it does impact others in their lives. So thank you, Chief, and the officers for doing what you do. We appreciate it. That concludes our proclamations for the evening, so we'll take a short break, and those of you who would like to exit may do so at this time, but we'll be here for some other business if you choose to stay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, moving on to new business. There's none at this time. Is there any public comment on new business and matters not on the agenda this evening? Okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure. State your name and address for the record, please. Yeah, uh, Ron Scobo, 
7 Claudia Road, Hillsborough, New Jersey. And I'd just like to comment on uh, the mayor and committee, and I'd just like to say that uh, it's nice that you partnered with the uh, uh, freeholders and Somerset County and brought, finally, the uh, Mountain View Park. I was there at that groundbreaking, and it looks, looks like it's going to be a great place for all the youth in Hillsborough, and it's a uh, feather in your cap to have that here in, in Somerset County and in Hillsborough. That's it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Any other public comment tonight? Okay, seeing none, we're going to be moving on to public hearings. 2018-17 is an amendment to ordinance entitled Salary Range Ordinance, setting forth salary ranges and titles for the classifications in this said ordinance. Each year, positions, titles, and ranges are reviewed relative to both bargaining units and other township positions. Adjustments are made uh, within this ordinance if necessary. This ordinance allows the flexibility for the ranges when we need them. May I have a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2018-17? So moved. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any discussion from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. I've seen a motion. Oh, I'm sorry. The closing I always adoption. do that. I just <laughs> like a habit. May I have a motion to close the public hearing first so and moved. adopt the ordinance? Thank you. <laughs> so moved. Second. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now roll call, please. Kimmin Delcor? Yes. Ms. Lapani? Yes. David Mary Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes, thank you. And we're moving on to considerations this evening is a re number one is a resolution authorizing the execution of an agreement with Civic Plus for Civic Clerk software in an amount not to exceed $5,425. Quotes were solicited for a software solution for meeting and agenda management, and Civic Plus was the most responsive and responsible bidder. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Commandment Delcor. Yes. Mayor Lapani. Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Yes. Mayor McCauley. Yes. We'll be moving on to the consent agenda tonight. It's not a whole big list, a little bit, but not too much. May I have a motion to approve the consent agenda tonight? So moved. Second. Thank you. Any comments, Medeus? Any from the floor? Roll call, please. Commander Delcor? Yes. Commander Lapani? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes, thank you. And this claims list tonight is 2018 19. May I have a motion to approve this claims list, please? So moved. I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any comments on the claims list? Any comments on the floor of the claims list? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Seeing none, roll call, please. Commander Delcor? Yes. Commander Milapani? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Thank you. That actually concludes our regular meeting tonight. And with no further ado, any other comments? No? Okay. All right. May I have adjournment motion, please? Motion to adjourn. I'll second that. All right. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We are adjourned. Thank you. Have a good evening. <laughs>